Now in this session we are going to solve one numerical problem on compaction and coalescing. So what is compaction and what is coalescing let me discuss that one at first then we shall go for the numerical problem. So compaction means let us suppose where in a when a program is running different programs are running in the computer's memory and we are having different fragmented memory holes. I told you in my earlier videos that holes means the free space the free memory block will be known as the memory hole. So, these memory holes may get scattered in the different memory zone or in the different memory spaces. In case of compaction I want to make all these free spaces available in one shot at a stretch. So, that is known as compaction. You might be asking me why we should go for the compaction. Let us suppose we are having four memory holes are there. Say so let there be 200 kb, 300 kb, 400 kb and 500 kb. So, what is the total memory space? The total memory space is 300 plus 400, 500 plus 400, 900 plus 400, 1400. 1400 of kb of memory space is free. Let us suppose one process has come whose size is 1000 kb. So, can we allocate that one there? No, because the process requires a contiguous free space if you go for single partition allocation, it requires a contiguous free space, then what we shall have to do? We shall have to shift, we shall have to shift all the processes in such a way that the full memory space will be available at a stretch. So, 14 kb of memory space can easily hold 100 kb of process. So, in this way the problem can be resolved. So, that is the way of doing compaction, but what about coalescing? I am not getting the issue, what is the coalescing? Let me draw one diagram here. So, coalescing means, so let us suppose this is the memory, this is occupied by OS, this is occupied by P1, that is a free space here and then we are having P2 and then say P3 and P4. Okay. So, here we are having only one memory space backend, so let this one. Now, let us suppose this P2 has been, has been terminated. It's processing has been done. So, it is now releasing releasing its space. After releasing the space, so this free space will be also obtained. Coalescing means, without coalescing I shall tell that this is one free memory hole and that is another free memory hole. But coalescing will coalesce that means, it will amalgamate two adjacent free spaces and it will register it in the page map table that this is the total free space available. So, that is known as a coalescing. Coalescing does not require any physical movement of data or physical movement of program from one zone to another zone. Coalescing means you are just amal amalgamating two free spaces which are adjacent. So, that is a coalescing. Now, let me go for this problem solved. So, this is the diagram given. It is having free spaces in three different places, it is having the free spaces. Now, the problem here is that what is the minimum data movement is required to perform compaction? What is the minimum data movement is required to perform compaction? So, they are looking for the best solution. Okay, let me go for one or two or three solutions here. So, solution number one is that I can move this P3 here, I can move this P4 here and so I can get a free space. So, if we draw the diagram in that case, if we draw the diagram then it will be like this, I am drawing this one. So, that is the OS that is 0 to 400 k, that is the P1 same thing that is 600 k and that is the P2 700 k up to. So, now P3 will be moved, what is the size of P3? The size of P3 from here you are getting 1100 and 1300 that is the 200 k. So, P3 will be coming down here. So, it will be 900 k and then P4 will be moved. What is the size of P4? We are having 1600 and th that 2000. So, 400 will be the size of P4. So, P4 will be coming down here P4. So, 4, 400 means it will be 13 k, 1300 k and remaining will be the free space. Remaining will, the, will be the free space. So, here we are having 2200 k the limit. So, now what is the size here? 
two two zero zero and this that is the nineteen nine hundred k. Let me check three hundred k, twenty two hundred k and four hundred k. If you go on adding, there is a nine hundred k. So we are getting this. So how much data you have moved? So P three is two hundred k and P four is my four hundred k. So how much data moved? So that is my six hundred kb of data, of data moved. Okay, so I've done it. So that is my strategy number one. Let me go for the strategy number two. In case of strategy number two, what I shall do? P four is having the size of four hundred k, so I can put it here. I can put it directly. So P four can be put. On this 400k space, so it will be become compact. So what will be the sequence then? We will be having OS, then P1, then P2, then P4 will be coming, then P3 will be coming, and then there will be a conti contiguous free space. So how much of data you are moving? 400kb. I think you can draw the diagram yourself. I think uh, I am just explaining this one. So 400kb of 400kb uh, moved. Okay, so can you suggest any other any other policy where the data movement will get decreased from 600 to 400 KB? Some betterment we have observed. Are you having anything in in your mind? That is, you see, there is another thing we can do. That this P3 is having a size of 200 K. So if this P3 can be moved to this particular place, it is also having a size of 200 K. So what will happen? Here we will be having a contiguous free space of, uh, free space of 900 KB. So 400 plus 300 plus 200, so 900 KB. So in that case, what will happen? I'm just drawing in a schematic way. So P1, P2 will be there. Then long free space there, 900 K. And then we'll be having our P3 will be coming after this P4. So P4 will be there, and P3 will be there. So what is the total data movement? In case of gate questions, we will be having options. You shall have to tick on that particular option which is having 200 KB as a, as an answer. So in this way, the problem can be solved. So the basic difference between compaction and coalescing is that in case of compaction, data movement will take place. In case of coalescing, there will be no data movement will take place. Only it will be registered that these are not two free spaces adjacent, there is a contiguous free space. So only it will be updated in the index. So I think the conception is cleared. So this sort of problems might be coming with the different numerical values. But if your conception is clear, you can easily handle and face the music. Thanks for watching this video.